Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Anto Holland driving to bloody work. So it's going to be a bit noisy, a bit noisy, a bit vibratey. And, uh, just a couple of things before I uh, I go there to send across to talk tonight. And uh, one is Noel Gallagher. Now, I've always been a fan of Noel Gallagher all my life. Seen him live, um, seen him with Oasis, God knows how many times. And it's the same with anyone who, who gets a bit older. They start to annoy me. Some of the things they say, it's bitter. You've had your day. You've had your big day. And he was basically saying something like, you won't catch Harry Styles sitting in a room, writing a middle eight, or writing a song. He's got an army of songwriters, what have you. Said it about Liam as well. And I don't know whether Noel knows this, right? But you probably have something bad to say about this as well. Elton John, one of the most famous musicians in the world, like him or hate him, <laughs> like him or hate him, had someone else write his songs for him. I can't remember his name now. God, I should know that. He's like, he's a really good friend of his. And it's weird the way they write songs. Him and Elton John. Should have, I should have researched his name. I do know it, but when I do these videos, mental block occurs. But it's an interesting way of writing a song. And sorry, just had to break sharply there. My just my dinner from work just went everywhere. Great. I have to sort that out when I stop. Um, and it's a, and it's a funny, but it's a good way of, and it's a different way of writing a song. I like to write a song. I'm not saying I'm amazing, but I'm saying the process of mine is get a bit of guitar down first, and then just start. Do you know what I mean? Well, then kind of like writes words and then Elton John sits down at a piano and makes sense of them words and puts them into, into a song, not makes sense of them, just puts them into a melody, progression, all that kind of stuff. So one of the most famous artists in the world that people love him or hate him, it's like Marmite isn't he, but he fucking sold how many millions? And what's the music industry about? It's about money. It's about making money. If you can get people to enjoy your music and make money at the same time, writing a song or not writing a song, people are forgetting. Noel Gallagher's forgetting that you don't just have to write songs to be amazing or popular. Right? My personal opinion, I like to watch people who have written songs. I do. But well, that's a choice. I won't slag people off if they don't write songs especially if they're good and you know what changed my mind on this this is probably going out to a younger generation of listeners but what changed my mind on this subject is having kids and my little girl loves Harry Styles yeah if she's loving what he's doing and it's making her happy and she she loves him and dances around if that's happening then fucking hell he's doing his job isn't he he's doing his fucking job so yeah I, I, I do think he takes part in writing the songs yeah I don't know how many songs he's, he's written or wrote I don't even think Noel would know but he is one of them artists where you go to the song credits I think I did it on watermelon sugar is it I like to see you, and it's, there's about six writers there, six writers on the Spotify song credits, which is fine. You know, he's a good looking lad, he dresses mad, he is entertaining, he's got a good voice, he can play the guitar. You don't have to write everything, you don't have to write everything to be popular or amazing. You know, and I'm not being funny, but Noel Gallagher's tunes as of the last few years have been absolute dog crap, haven't they? You know, they haven't been the best. I mean, there was one that he put out not long ago, which I did kind of enjoy 
uh, trying to find a world that's been and gone, I think it's called. You know what? It's a good song, but it's it wasn't enough for me. The song wasn't enough. The intro was was played out very long. It was a very long intro in it of just, just normal chords. Lovely chords, but just, you know, there's nothing else there. And then there was there wasn't really many. It was almost like, ah, oh, this is all I've got for this song. I'm just gonna put this out. That's almost what it felt like to me. I, it's a great, it's a great song. I just think it needed a little bit more at the end. But I, I don't get me wrong. I've listened to it a fair few times, more than I've listened to Harry Styles. Which this 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 video might not make sense to you. This recording might not make sense. But I think you know where I'm coming from. You know. And the last point I want to make on it is. We know why he's doing it. He did it with uh, Lewis Capaldi in the news, didn't he? I think he's done. He's talked about Ed Sheeran, but he's got he's got nice things to say about Ed Sheeran. Um, but he did it with Lewis Capaldi, and Lewis Capaldi just had him off, had his pants down, and taking his daughter out, making proper funny videos, just annihilating all. But he did it for sales because he had an album out at the same time. Just did it for sales. So it's probably why he's doing it now. You know. Which is a bit sad, really. I think he's got enough money. Anyway, before I love you and leave you, we'll just talk about those kind of artists. You know, you've got Ed Sheeran, Harry Styles. Who else is in the bloody... I'll tell you, tell you who's got a good song out at the moment, who I loved five, six, seven years ago. And uh, especially his acoustic stuff on YouTube. It's, it's when he first um, made it onto the scene. Hold Back the River and Let It Go and uh, Scars by James, James Bay. Now, is uh, they, they they took him after his first album and they and they tried to manufacture him into something they wanted him to be. They cut his hair and they just tried it, this 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 acoustic this, this poppy kind of sound, which is yeah, still kind of there. But they took his raw playing music great electric playing and acoustic playing and everything else and this raw voice and it's just try to oh they're gonna put you into mainstream here now and good for him that I've, I've noticed recently that he's going back to his roots you know he's uh he's got his hat back on and, uh, which some people don't like i like it it's, it's him isn't it it's just it's him and uh, he's wrote an absolute blinding song blinding song go and check it out um, it's the newest song he's got on Spotify and it's got one hell of a chorus it is absolutely superb so any thoughts on this below have a comment subscribe like all that good stuff and I uh, hope you all have a great weekend it's just about to piss down here so um, you know do something exciting get up and do something tomorrow uh, because you never know the next day might not come <laughs> take it easy bye